by the end of this video, when our player loses all of their health, time will pause and our game over screen will appear. It'll state how many levels we've survived through and then give us a retry button that when we press, it'll load our first level again and reset all our progress. Cool, let's go. So first of all, in our UI object in our hierarchy, I'm gonna right click and go create empty. I'm gonna call this game over screen. Then I'm going to right click on our game over screen and go UI text and import text mesh pro essentials. This happens when it's the first time you're using this text text mesh text mesh pro to enclose that off after importing. I'm just going to rename this game over text and in the text box, I'm going to put game over and set the width something big to like thousand. I'll center the alignment and I'll set the font size like a hundred. I'm going to make this bold. Then in our scene view, I'm going to click on the move tool, double click on our game over text, and I'm going to drag this up to be above our player. I'm going to copy this game over text and paste it below. I'm going to rename this survived text. On here, we're going to say in capital letters, you survived star levels. I'm going to make this font size to 70 and then position this just a bit lower. So in here, we're going to replace this star with how many levels we've survived. Next, I'm going to right click on our game over screen and go UI button. I'm going to make the height 100 and the width 250 up in our buttons transform. I'm going to drag this to below our player, change the color to be a nice green and I'll rename this retry button. And you can open up your button in the hierarchy over here and select the text below. Now I'm going to change this text to be retry, change the font size to be 70 and make it bold. I'm going to change the color to be pure black and I'm actually going to change the game over text color as well and change it to match you can select from the prefab you can actually select anywhere on the screen which is kind of cool but I'm going to select the same color as our enemy and be this nice red cool so that's the UI I'm going to use so now let's set up actually calling our game over screen so right now on our player we have a player health script if we open this up and take a look this is where we take damage and in here we have a if our current health is less than or equal to zero then here is where we're going to call our game over screen but since it doesn't make much sense to have the code in here handling UI. I'll instead handle this in the game controller. But so our game controller can know when we die, we're going to set up an event. So at the top, we're going to go public static event with a lowercase e and then action with a capital A. We'll call this on player died. Hover over action and do show potential fixes. And we're going to need using system for this to work. Now, if we copy on player died and paste it down where our player dies, we can go on player died dot invoke. Also know back in Unity where I'm actually handling our UI currently and our level changing is in our game controller. So I'm going to double click on our game controller script. And in here, we can see we're already subscribing to some events So underneath these events. I'm going to go player health on player died, go plus equals, and we'll call our game over screen function, which we haven't written yet. So let's go void game over screen. And we're actually going to add some new variables now. So at the top, we're going to go public game object, game over screen, public TMP underscore text survived text and hover over this TMP text and use using TMP pro. Then we're going to want a private int for survived levels count. Also now in our game over screen, we're going to want to go game over screen dot set active to true. We'll set our survived text dot text to equal double quotes. You survived. Then we'll go space plus survived levels count, then plus double quotes levels. Now, if we imagine this, if we don't survive any levels, it'll say you survived zero levels. That sounds fine. If we survived one, it'll say you survived one levels. That doesn't sound fine. So instead of saying levels at the top here, take away the S and say if our survived levels count does not equal one, then our survived text dot text or plus equal double quotes capital S. At the top of our screen and our start, I'm also going to go game over screen set active to false. And then we'll go back to unity. And if we select our game controller, you can see we need to pass in our game over screen, which is going to be this overarching container. And then we need our survived text as well. So I'll we'll drag these into our game controller script. Now when we press play, if we get hit by our enemy one, two, three times, we've got our game over screen popping up. Back in our script, when we do actually survive a level, we need our survive levels count to go up. We handle this in our game controller script anyway, where we move to our next level. So when we go load next level, at the bottom, we can go survive levels count plus plus, and this will just increase this count by one. So now if I pick up some gems and go to the next level and get hit by our enemy three times, you can see we survived one level. Now our retry button still doesn't do anything. So let's add in this functionality. So in our game controller script, we're gonna go public void reset 
game. In here we're going to want our game over screen dot set active to be false, our survived levels count to equal zero and then we're going to want to load back to our first level to level zero. Currently we only have one load next level where we just increase down our list of levels and then repeat back to our first one. I'm going to edit this and write a new function so void load level where I'm going to pass in an int of the level that we want to go to. Then I'm going to cut everything up to our int next level index and paste it into our load level script. I'm going to use level and replace the next level index with level and then in load next level we're going to go load level and pass in next level index. Now we can reuse this code for both loading our next level actually in the game and then also for loading our first level when we reset our game. So what we can do now is go load level zero. But when we reset our game, we don't want our survive levels count to increase. So what we can also do in our load level in our parameters is go comma ball once survived increase then copy this and at the bottom go if once survived increase and then leave our survive levels count. So in our reset game, we want to go load level zero comma false since we don't want this to increase when we reset our game and then we'll set it to true in our normal loading levels. Cool. So if we go back to Unity, we click on our retry button in our UI. In the on click, you select the plus and then drag in our game controller into this slot. Now in this no function drop down, you can go to game controller and then reset game. If we press play now and get hit by an enemy three times, we can then click retry and we can play again. So you can notice there's a few things that happen. Our health still stays at zero and our objects don't despawn. So what we're going to do is go back to our game controller script and we're going to create an action inside our game controller to tell our other scripts when our game has been reset. So we're going to want another public static event action. And we'll call this on reset. So we can go back to our player health now. And in here we'll go game controller dot on reset plus equals reset health. Then we'll write this reset health function. So we go void reset health. And in here, we want to set our current health to equal our max health. And then we can go health UI dot set max hearts back to our max health. Now you may notice this is the same as the code above in our start function. So what we can do is just copy reset health and replace that up here in our start as well. Tidied up our code. Cool. So we're subscribing to this on reset. And when this happens, we're going to reset our health. The next thing we needed to do was to get our objects to clear out when we change level or reset back to our original one. So back in Unity, we have an object spawner, which spawns our objects for us from a past video. If we open this up in our start, we can go game controller dot on reset and go plus equals level change. Now level change is called whenever we change a level, but we can force this to get called, which will select our ground tile map, gathers all the new valid positions for items, and it destroys all our spawned objects. So this should fix any other problems we have. Cool, so now we're subscribing to this event. What we actually forgot to do was back in our game controller. When we press reset game in our reset game function, we need to go on reset dot invoke. Now everything should work. So let's go back to Unity, press play. And when we get hit three times by our enemy and press retry, our objects are destroyed and our health goes back to full. If we switch to a new level, and get hit by an enemy three times, then click retry. You can see we go back to our first level, our objects are despawned and we can go all over again. Now there's one last problem. When our game over screen does pop up, we can still move around. So when the game pauses, we're gonna wanna pause time as well. So back in our game controller script, this is pretty easy to do. All you have to do is in our game over screen, go time dot time scale equals zero. This pauses your game for you. Now when we reset our game, we want time to move again and our game to be unpaused. So we go time dot time scale equals one. And that's it. So for our final test, if we get hit by our enemy three times, we pause in our game over screen. We can press retry and start all over again. So now we get this cool little freeze frame. And that's it. In our next video, we're going to make it a little more fair on our guys. What we're going to do is get our player shooting bullets at our enemies, where we'll shoot to harm octopuses and only octopuses. If you want to check out the scripts for this, as always, it's on my Patreon with all my other code prefabs and scripts for this whole channel. But yeah, that's it. See you in the next one. Bye.